Welcome back to Home Lab Networks. My name is AJ, and in today's Home Lab video, I just wanted to show you guys the process that I go through when I either buy a new server, buy an old server, or build a new server. I go through the process of putting it in the rack, hooking it all up, installing the OS on it, and I just want to show you guys how I set up a server in my Home Lab each time I get a new product. As when you're in the home lab or IT, you tend over the years to collect parts and systems. As I've got two old servers back from 2009 and 2012 that I, for some reason, can't get rid of. I have them in the rack now. The 2009 is an IBM server that I just I can't get can't get rid of because yes, it is old. Choose it does chew power up, but it's very reliable. So today, that's what we're going to be setting up. And I just wanted to show you guys the process from start to finish on how I set up my servers. So I'll catch you guys in the video. guys just watched and witnessed we just installed a server in our network rack and we just installed Debian, Debian 12 on it so we're going to now this you know now that we know this is up and running what I want to do this is what I do when I set up a server is I like to log into my internet router so basically when they if I have to restart the internet or the router or the network um, it's gonna reserve the IP address that I've set instead of give it a new one, and then I've got to reconfigure the network side of things for the server. So this is basically um, an easier way to set a, a static IP address for your machines. Now I use TP-Link as my router. Um, the layout's gonna be different for everyone, but the process will be the same. Like you should be able to, able to follow along and figure it out for yourself. So I go to network and then LAN settings, and then DH, DHCP server, I'm going to scroll down. Now, client list, so this is telling you all the addresses and devices that have been connected to your network. The address reservation, so I've set my two Minecraft servers to reserve these IP addresses. And so now, we're just going to double check that our server is actually on here. So a couple pages here. So we're looking for 111, here it is, Homeland Networks. Beautiful, so we're going to go down to add. So keep this address in mind. Add, I'm going to scan. And then we're going to find that IP address again. Which is here, 111. Plus, and then I'm going to click on save. So if you guys like today's video, please don't forget to leave a like rating. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. We're nearly at 3,000 subscribers and nearly a million, a million channel views, which is fantastic. And it's thanks to you guys. 
name is AJ from Homeland Networks and I'll see you guys in the next video.